What's up, Kyle? How are you, sir? I appreciate you speaking with me. I really do. I'm good, man. No complaints on this end. I'm out here. I'm in LA currently. Awesome. Uh, and I got to say, first of all, I've, I've loved you forever and probably even more so than your music. What I've loved is your business acumen. You know, it's, it's incredible. And, and that shows through even in things like, you know, power and, and uh, raising Canaan. So kudos to you for being an example you. Um, to so many of us for that. Uh, so, so power, wow, the power universe, especially, you know, book three, Raising Canaan, is, is, why was that so important for you to tell Canaan's story? But that, that period, the 90s, things were so different musically, fashion, it's, it's, it's really the golden era, even the, the trade, the, being able to live above average based on you being connected to the community, Versus, you know, other periods, things are different in, in, in a different time frames. So I, me going back, the idea of capturing that time period was exciting for me because I'm just a fan of things at that point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the, this is the early stages when there is no, I mean nothing in the music when this story is taking place. So it's cool to, to talk about that and explore those, those stories and that energy that was going on at that point. And, Sasha did an amazing job with it. Like, you, you know, like, I, look, put it in a nutshell, television production is find the best possible story you can find and then just make up some shit. <laughs> right? Because it's not supposed to be exactly what happened or, or that accurate. And because if we do do that, if we told your life story, we'd be telling other people's story at the same time. There's no life that has no one else in it, mm -hmm. you know? And that, and it will run into those lines where we get sued for shit. So they make up some things and and build it out in order to have it be entertaining all the way every episode you know and i um i give sasha all of the credit for that for how it came out because he's just he's been in the power universe the entire time he was in the original writer's room for power and increments at points that these people break off i took i tore that writer's room apart bro like I made hit shows out of everybody that was in there like <laughs> a bunch of people in there I got uh Randy Hudgens is is was in that original room and is now the writer showrunner for BMF and they'll see that in September so it's, it's a lot going on yeah I love it and you know what's cool to me is the the uh, the cast is complete powerhouses Patina and yeah, Mackay I mean like it's incredible yeah, the, and you know, I think I think them being together, it, it complements each other on different levels. Because the Patina is a different level of intensity. Like that, she's dedicated. There's so much going on there that this it's hard to look. It's easy for us to say that, and it makes sense when you get a chance to look at it. You see it like she's she's the heavyweight champion on screen. Do you see her? She's this cute little thing right there in front of you. Like, what is going on, bro? Like, doesn't doesn't feel like the same person when you interact with her. And it's she's done the work to make that energy come out when she's actually on the screen, and it, it's amazing. And then you put Makai next to her, and he's all the way ready for the success at this point. Like, a lot of times, Michael Rainey was a special case because Michael was twelve in power. He grew up on the show, like the whole. And, and now he's actually running it, but he's been trained to be now number one on the call sheet, but he's been on the call sheet since he was 12. Yeah. You know, like it, that's, there's people who have a, an experience or a level of success in their experience that you, you can't even fathom what's going on with them because they've been successful so long. Like when it starts that early at 12, that was his first job. He worked all over the place before that. Like, right. so he just, that's all he knows to to do that, you know, to work and get going. Like this is when child child stars, when they become big actors later, they've been doing it for so long that this is like, give it to me. I got you, whatever you need. Yeah. 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 And, it, you know, the, I mean, she, she is just rock her character. I mean, that's yeah. the other great thing about it is the writing is so strong mm -hmm. and what is it, you know, seeing sort of a version of yourself in right. some in ways, a, a little, a 25 cent, if you will, from back <laughs> in the day, what, what is that like for you, you know, um, 
kind of looking back in in in, in an inspired by way. It's exciting, like because we introduced Canaan in power, you see him in a damaged state, like at the end the end of that run. Like so, the Makai is able to uh, offer them innocence at points, and for them to feel and, and process the traumas, the things that he's going through. It turned them into what you saw him be when I was performing as the character, and we I, I stole from a bar from Goodfellas. Mm -hmm. the, the the idea of me being the, the voiceover, the adult version of Kanan, while Makai is the the young version, is it's Ray Liotta's adult voice being uh, speaking over Sonny, the young character version of his character, and because I had that template. You know, going to talk to Sasha about it, we was able to get and build that out and and make it you know feel good. Like it's it's not picking points where you can utilize the voiceover. Definitely does uh, allow you the ability to advance the, mm -hmm. the, the scenes and stuff like that, or transition into different things. So you know, it's a cool process, and it doesn't it doesn't bother me to do it because I'm recording anyway. I can do the voiceover in my house, like downstairs. Right. I just close. <laughs> well. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. The show, the whole universe is incredible, but you know, I, I my heart is really for, for book three. It's uh, something about it is just really incredible. And of course you, you obviously are a huge part of that. Thank you for speaking with me and thank you again for being a role model for what people can do, not just in music, but in entertainment in the business world. Well, we get them. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you.